crew person plays a very important part in maintaining the balance of the craft and ensuring that the IRB successfully negotiates the brake. As the IRB rises over a small broken or green wave, the crew person will raise their buttocks off the pontoon and absorb any impact with bent knees. As the IRB rises over a large broken or green wave, the crew person will take the shock of the wave by standing in a slightly crouched position. Both legs slightly bent and evenly positioned, maintaining the hand grips on the bow rope and pontoon. It's important to not let go of the hand grips as the crew person can lose balance and fall into the lap of the driver or onto the port side pontoon which could place the IRB in a precarious position and possibly roll it over. Remember to always follow the driver's instructions. As a driver there is a natural tendency to turn the wrist down and pull the steering handle towards the body when negotiating starboard turns. This means that the throttle will move down, rev the motor faster, cause the IRB to turn faster and possibly throw the driver out as well. To counteract this, the driver should lean into the IRB and maintain the wrist in a bent position when pulling the handle towards the body, which will keep the engine revs at an even rate. Starboard turns should not be attempted until the driver is confident with throttle control. If you are performing turns and basic manoeuvres in a Class 3 IRB, remember it handles differently to a Class 1 or Class 2, so always refer back to your latest Powercraft training manual. When performing turns in a Class 1 or a Class 2, the crew person has significant impact on the responsiveness of the IRB by appropriately moving their weight around. The crew person should always move their weight to the same side the IRB is turning towards. When the IRB is performing a starboard or right turn, the crew person should move their body further starboard. In this case, the crew person should lean out of the IRB. When performing a port or left turn, the crew person should move their body to the port side of the IRB. This is achieved by the crew person crouching towards the centre of the IRB. When doing this, the crew person should ensure that they remain in control and not to fall onto the port side of the IRB as this may make the IRB unstable. The amount of movement required will depend on the weight of the crew person and the weight and position of the driver.